something you actually said, which is, I do think, and this is a, another conundrum for the press corps, um, and is the political correctness conundrum. Um, I knew how hated Hillary Clinton was in the heartland. Okay, I, I am. I, I, I spend. I have family in Arkansas. I, my, I, my wife's family's from Pensacola. I spent a little, plenty of time. I grew up. My dad grew up in you know, Iowa, and, and you know he raised me with a strong hatred of all things New York City, um, and said, you know, they think they're better than us, right? That that was my dad, you know, and my dad, he's deceased now, and he'd he'd be yelling at me the way you're lecturing me, and I say this, <laughs> and I, I mean, I know, I mean, but and so what I would say, one of the great where I think political correctness got in the way of what we all knew as reporters and didn't fully deliver was how hated the Clintons were in the heartland. And I think it was a fear of, oh, is it going to look like it's sexist, anti-woman, if we say that, you know, look, there were no Hillary, there were no Donald Trump for prison um, posters that I saw on the trail on anybody's lawn. People so willing to express their distaste that they would put it on their yard. But I did see it with Hillary Clinton. I saw Hillary Clinton for prison signs on lots of yards, if as long as you went 30 miles outside of a, a metro area. And I think we underplayed it a little bit out of political correctness fears. And, and I think that's another, look, I don't have a, a good answer. I mean, in hindsight, I can tell you right now, yeah. You know, I think we underestimated the, per, the, the personal distaste for the Clintons. And I say this plural. Because I really believe that it was, that's why NAFTA is a part of it, that there really was just sort of, they epitomized, they, they were the symbol of the establishment, right? They were the symbol of the frustration. My God, her husband even signed that damn NAFTA, right? You know, they, and I do think out of, again, out of fear, I, I believe, personally. And so that's another conundrum here, because there's, on one hand, I don't want to be, no member of the press corps wants to look like they're singling out a group and making a group feel bad, right, whatever that is, just like you wouldn't, whether, whether it's a, a, an ethnic group uh, or whatever. Um, but that is how coverage, if we sort of were straight up honest and blunt about, hey, do we understand the level of hatred that's out there and, you know, all the Hillary for prison signs that are out there? Um, we certainly would have at least made the viewer know, hey, it's, you know, she's not well liked in some places in this country in ways that that's maybe times 10 when it comes with Trump. 